this video we have another indefinite integral to evaluate. First thing to decide is what approach are you going to take, which technique are you going to use. And just by looking at this, I would, I would say it's a substitution. You let u equal to 1 minus e to the x. That might work. Don't have too many terms to pick here. Or we could let u equal to the denominator, the square root of 1 minus e to the x. And again, there'd be mo there might be more than one approach to this. So I'm going to let u equal to basically the denominator, u equal to square root of 1 minus e to the x. And I'm going to go ahead and square both sides here. You might be able to do it without doing this. Square both sides. I get 1 minus e to the x equal to u squared. Squaring both sides cancels the radical. Then I'll take the uh, derivative here, differential both sides. So this will be 2u and then du. On the right side, derivative 1 is 0. Derivative of minus e to the x is minus e to the x dx. And I'm going to solve for dx here. So I'll multiply or divide both sides by minus e to the x. So I'll get a minus 2u du over e to the x. And I come back to this. Try to rewrite this as an expression with the in terms of u instead of x. So this will be the integral. Let's replace the dx by this expression here. So I put minus 2u du. And then I'll have a factor of e to the x. The denominator is just going to be u. And I'll have the e to the x in the bottom. Okay, we're not there yet. We still have an expression with an x. So let's do this. Minus 2u du. The numerator is okay. And then from this expression right here, if I solve this right here for e to the x, I can e to the x over. And making the u squared over, I get one, e to the x is equal to 1 minus u squared. So e to the x can be replaced by 1 minus u squared. So this will be u, and then e to the x is 1 minus u squared. This will be equal to, then I'm going to bring this denominator, or this uh, negative here, to the bottom. So this will be the integral of 2u, du, and then multiplying by u here. Well, actually, I do this. This u and this u will cancel. Let's divide those out. And then multiplying the, remain, the remaining the factor here, 1 minus u squared by a negative, this gives me u squared minus 1. Now, this one has the look of a partial, partial fraction decomposition. Remove this here. So we're going to take the integrand, 2 over, and that factors, the denominator factors, is different to square, so it's going to be u minus 1, u plus 1. And of course, we're doing now partial fractions. In a u substitution, the only obvious thing I see here is a partial fractions. And this is the case where you have linear factors and they're not repeated. So I'd have a constant. This, this would break down into something like a over some constant a over, say, u minus 1 plus b over u plus 1. And then we multiply both sides by the factors here, u minus 1, u plus 1. The left side stays at 2, and the right side becomes the one factor that u minus 1 cancels. So a is multiplied by u plus 1. b, u plus 1 cancels. So b is multiplied by u minus 1. And then I could just multiply through by a in the first expression here on the right, and then by b in the, the second one here, and then set up a system of equations. But this is pretty straightforward here. Let's just pick some values. This, this, this is really an identity here, so we can pick any numbers we want. I'm going to pick u to be 1. What do we get? Okay. So if u is 1, the factor in front next to the b becomes 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So I get 0 here, and then 1 and 1 is 2. So 2a two would equal to 2. This would tell me then that a has to equal 1. Now let's pick u to be negative 1. 
you can pick any numbers you want, but you want to pick the ones that make it more convenient for you. So if I pick x to be negative 1, now the term with the a cancels. Negative 1 and 1 is 0. 0 times a is 0. And then over here then, I get negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So I get negative 2b equals to 2. So that tells me that b divided by negative 2b equals to negative 1. So this expression then can be integrated right here using this partial fraction decomposition. So let me see if we rewrite this as I can write then the 2 over u squared minus 1 as 1 over u minus 1 plus negative 1 over u plus 1. And this is with respect to u. And these are the easiest type of integrations you can have when the factor in the denominator, especially when you have a 1 in the numerator and the factor in the denominator is linear and the coefficient is 1. This is just going to equal to natural log. You can use another substitution here, but you shouldn't have to. You should see that this is the net integral of 1 over u minus 1 is the natural log of u minus 1 the same way the natural log of minus 1 over u plus 1 is minus natural log of absolute u plus 1 plus the constant of integration. And that's, just, that's it as far as the integration goes. The only thing we have to do now is just go back to the original variables or the original variable. We know that u is the square root of 1 minus e to the x. So I'll start it over here then. So e equals then. This expression here then will equal to ln of absolute u, but u is the square root of 1 minus e to the x, and then it's minus 1. Here we need to keep the absolute values. And then for the other one then, just replacing again the value of u here, this is ln of absolute. Again, u is the square root. 1 minus e to the x plus 1 plus your constant of integration. And that's really your answer right there. Ln absolute square root of 1 minus e to the x minus 1 minus Ln absolute square root of 1 minus e to the x plus 1 plus your constant. Now you can also see the answer this way. So keep in mind that there's more than one approach to solving these. You could have a different substitution, but if you go ahead and do the follow the procedure, your answer should be pretty similar or should be the same answer. It may, might be uh, in a different form, but the answer is the same. Here we have a difference of logs. So in the back of the book, if you're working these from your textbook, you might see the answer. When you have a difference of logs, you can write that as a natural log of a quotient. I'm just to use one big absolute value here. So it would be this expression. It would be the log of this first expression over this expression. So this would just be the square root 1 minus e to the x minus 1 over the square root 1 minus. Here we got the square root of 1 minus e to the x plus 1 plus your constant of integration. So again, this answer is correct. E to 1 right here though. or this one. Your preference. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.